Hi everyone. So it's been a few weeks since I came back from VidCon, but I still have one thing that I have to make a video about because uh, it's it was such a big part of my VidCon experience. So I'm wearing the t-shirt right now, but for this year's VidCon, I was flown out to Anaheim by the Adobe Japan team, and there they had a lot of booths and um, a lot of presents about their new project called Project Rush. I had the opportunity to talk to a lot of people that work on Project Rush at Adobe and got a pretty in-depth preview and sneak peek of what's to come. Project Rush is an all-in-one video creation application that works on your mobile, works on your desktop devices, and it pretty much has all of the uh, beginner and intermediate features that you, you can also use on Premiere Pro. Adobe Premiere Pro After Effects and Audition is also part of the professional suite of applications that you can use from Adobe. But if you are really new to video editing or as a creator, um, these pro tools might be really intimidating and it might take you a lot of time to learn. If you are new to video editing or need a on-the-go solution, then Project Rush is for you. So Rush is built on the Premiere Pro engine. So if you need to do more work on the project that you worked on on Project Rush, you can export it and work directly on Premiere Pro and continue editing and adding more stuff that's more complicated that Project Rush maybe cannot handle. If you are a brand new creator and start on Project Rush and learn all of the essentials for video editing, and you want to take your game to the next level, then you can seamlessly move on to using Premiere Pro. So let's talk about some of the features that Project Rush has. So one thing that's really clear and stood out to me when I first saw the demo was that it's a gapless track. On Premiere Pro, you can have gaps in your timeline if you want to, and that kind of allows you to manipulate in a different way than a gapless track like in Final Cut Pro. That was something that stood out to me because I'm so used to seeing the non-gapless track, gap, gap track. Anyway, so what gapless track means is that you can drag and drop tracks around and it will snap into place for you. So another thing that's really cool about Project Rush is that you can still use motion graphics templates that you might be familiar with if you're using Premiere Pro or After Effects. Since they work just like motion graphic templates on Premiere, you can customize and mess with the parameters very easily right on Project Rush. Also, since this is going to be available on iPhones, iPad, and Androids, um, you can directly touch the screen to move things around, which is not possible obviously on Premiere Pro. Color grading is still available on Project Rush. There's filters and basic correction parameters that you can toggle. Adobe Sensei, which is Adobe's machine learning engine, is also built in and it determines the type of sound clips that's attached to the video. So it's really easy to manipulate audio tracks depending on what they are. So it determines if the sound clip is a voiceover or music and it will tag it automatically in the timeline. When you hit the optimize volume button, Adobe Sensei will optimize a clip depending on what kind of sound source it is. It even has reduced background noise, which is a lifesaver when I'm vlogging because sometimes you can't control the environment you're in and how noisy it can get. And also something really exciting for online creators like me is all these sharing features that they have. When you look at the sharing functions of Project Rush, you can really tell that this product was made for online video creators. There are so many platforms and so many different types of aspect ratios that you need to memorize and export for. It's just crazy sometimes. They already have YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Instagram Stories, Snapchat, and many other different platforms that you can export directly from Project Rush on. So for YouTube, you can schedule the video and save the video on your camera roll. And also another big thing, for me at least, is that you can toggle between HD, 1080, and 4K video. Uh, I usually shoot my videos on 4K, so that's really great that it also has capabilities to do that as well. So those were the awesome features that Project Rush has already. Let's talk about some of the missing features that I realized when talking to the team. So one of the things that I use a lot 
and is not available on Rush is keyframing. When I shoot my B-roll, I tend to do a lot of speed ramping and that, you, that needs keyframes, but Project Rush currently does not support keyframing. Another thing is chroma key, which you might know as green screens, so that does not work right now as well. And also some of the more sophisticated features like VR, AR, and 360 videos are also not supported. Multicam is also not supported, but you can have up to four video clips and three audio clips. When Project Rush is in market, like launched for real, it seems like it'll be part of the Creative Cloud suite. So if you have subscribe to that, you will probably get it for free. Um, if you don't have that and you just want Project Rush, I think they'll also be available to subscribe only to Project Rush and you'll, also, and you'll just have it on all of your platforms. So Rush is an entry level and simplified version of the Premiere Pro and Adobe actually wants you to enter through Rush and graduate to Premiere Pro and After Effects so that new creators will have an entry point to their suite of creation tools. And so Premiere Pro is still the ultimate video creation software um, and they, you'll still continue to have ultimate control and that's not going away. Project Rush will be a lighter and on-the-go version of Premiere Pro um, with a little bit of limited controls, but will still be a pretty powerful tool compared to what's available in the market today. And so Adobe has a lot of advantages to other apps that are already out there because they have Adobe Sensei and they have um, dynamic links and they have motion graphic templates and all these other things and also cloud storage that comes with Adobe Creative Cloud. Um, and those things are really hard to compete with if you're not a big company like Adobe. So just to clarify, I have not gotten access to the beta version yet. So I've only seen the demo at VidCon and um, I've had some interviews with some of the PMs at Adobe who's working on Project Rush, but I am so excited to play with it when the beta comes out. You can also sign up to be a beta tester um, on the link below and I'll just have the link in the description as well um, but I highly recommend that you check it out and just be excited with me for this new application so for me personally I won't not use Premiere Pro anymore I'll probably be using both Premiere Pro and Rush to as a combination and kind of complement each other since Rush will be available on the mobile devices, I'm super excited to use it on my iPad Pro um, and especially when I'm on the plane. When I'm traveling, I can shoot all of my footage, um, dump it into my iPad Pro and just edit on the plane, which is like such, a, such an amazing thing. I don't have to take out my laptop, take out my hard drive and SSD, whatever. Um, and, and just get to editing. For my YouTube videos, I will probably edit on the go on my iPad Pro or maybe on my iPhone and export it to Premiere Pro to do the final editing. So for things like IGTV, I really want to try doing everything on Project Rush. I hope this video was useful for you as a little sneak peek of Project Rush. When it comes out, I'll definitely be doing a full tutorial or a walkthrough um, and I'm really excited to test it out. See you in the next video. Bye!